in a world where one woman is trying to make it to a bookstore controlled by some guy called Beef. There was an episode. And it was really, really boring, so uh, I've skipped ahead in time. Yeah. Um, welcome back, everybody. We are doing okay. Really okay. We've got okay sort of zoom lag going on. We have a nice storage area here. I've stored things in there. We've got our vans and everything set up. We've got a nice little maintenance training area. And we've got things to make axes. So, in the episode that I am not going to do, because, again, I found it very boring, we, we did some foraging. We found some uh, edible flowers. We also put the remainder in the compost bin. I did a little rundown of my storage facility and everything that I've put together. Then we did a little bit of farming. We looked at the amount of axes I have, 29 stone axes now, by the way. And we started looking at mechanics, but we are time-gated on gaining experience with that, which is a shame because we need mechanics in order to do loom stuff, which is what the majority of this stuff on the floor is for here. So that is how we are standing at the moment, which all in all, isn't too bad. Um, yeah, but things could be better. So got some extra tools in my inventory because we found them from zombie loots uh, speaking of which we found one book in that episode and it was another chemistry book so completely worthless which is a shame but hey ho we also found one small bag of trash as well and that gave us some scrap metal and a light bulb so yeah not exactly grade a loot material but hey how um we also took off this wheel and broke it but that's pretty much it that's the rundown so i want to try and get all the zombies here all of the zombies here so come on horrible noises alarm whale Whale will do. Yeah, we'll do this for a minute because I don't want to do it for too long because this is our only heavy duty battery and we don't have a battery charger, which is annoying. So. I reckon that'll do. Right. What have we got out here? Anything? Everything? Nothing? Something? Nothing. Looks like nothing to me anyway. Right, let's uh, let's have something to eat. Make sure our character is well fed, and we want the sacks with us. Yeah, that would be good. And we also want the shovel, because what we are going to do is we're going to start carving a little pathway. Like I said, I'm hoping that by doing this, it does stop trees regrowing and it saves us putting down wood floors etc etc so hopefully in the long run this will pay off but it's foggy that means very very big danger very very big danger but hey ho right so what we want to do now is we want to take some dirt so we're going to start here and we're just going to carve a path down here I should have really brought the the fork truck as well to pull some of these logs out. But never mind. Right, so. We're getting a little warm and flustered whilst doing this. But it needs to be done. It really, really does need to be done. And the only way it's going to get done is if we actually do the thing. So the ambulance doing its yelping and whatnot seems to have done its job but there isn't anything around which is strange but hey ho so pour out some dirt there and here in fact you know what i'm going to put it on the edge because then i can pick it up and then condense it down as we go along or whatnot depending but yeah i'll just layer it around the edge of the base here for the minute because we don't want this gravel. And plus with our stone anvil we, we can make that in the future. 
Okay. This would be a lot better and a lot more fruitful if we had a colander. You know what? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we're going to do that. We're not we're not going to we're not going to do it until we get a colander because we're just wasting dirt really and it's hard hard work hard work without a way of disposing of the dirt properly. So what we will do instead is we will start a little bit of chopping, I think. But firstly, we will put our shovel, the sack, down here. There we go. And we will just stick the worms in there. There we go. Yeah, look, there's all the plants. There is a large variety of plants. So it seems to be very good for forage experience, but it really does destroy your inventory quick. So you need to be... In a position where you can dispose of the flowers, but yeah, it's it's a good it's a good option. Um, I'm already knackered, I'm sweating, and I keep forgetting the axes, and we're jumping over fences. I also made two more saw blade axes as well, so we have those, and we have the five hand axes on top of. So let's see how many of those I can take. A fair amount. How many of these can I take? Also a fair amount. Then what about our pallet truck, which should be up here somewhere? Yes, it is. Pallet truck, can we have you as well? No. But I can cheese it by putting it in, in the main inventory. And crushing ourselves to death, but that is that's fine. We can we can manage. We will hopefully climb this fence. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. No, you can't do it. Alright. Okay. Pallet truck can stay there then for the moment. Let's have a sit on the ground and a little rest because we need it. Oh, the fog's cleared up. Lovely. Right. Pallet truck. Back in the inventory. Thank you. Then let's climb the fence with full stamina. Come on, please. Oh, why are you being so silly? Come on. Over here. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Right. Let's, um, I'll tell you what. We'll drop these hand axes instead we'll drop those and we will put the pallet truck into the bag if it'll allow us i'm sure it will now there we go right those hand axes they're all right but they're not they're not the greatest for chopping trees you know what i mean so yeah i'm starting this a bit late on in the day and obviously running around like this is not good but we can just we can sit on the ground we can have a little minute we can put some food in us as we need to do, like so. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Right. Up and over. Nice and sneaky, sneaky. Then we want to equip pallet truck in both hands. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, no. No, we don't. No. Let's, uh, let's be smart. Let's leave that for the minute. Let's go scout out first. Because there's a couple more trees I want to clear. I want this place wider. There's bushes to clear. Yeah, we look okay. We look okay. Right, so let's start chopping a couple of trees. There we go. I'm not sure which axe has been pulled out. I'm not bothered, honestly. I just want them gone. So I want this tree gone as well, and maybe that one too. So there we go. There we go. Then back over here. For a nice sit on the ground. I'm hoping that we do get some Zeds, because it would be nice to get into a little bit of combat today, but if it if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. We are still very much overburdened. Maybe I should drop the stone axes down, actually. There we go. Drop all those. That'll help us reduce that weight a little bit. I want this little tree gone as well. So we'll get rid of you. Uh, we might as well trim this one as well. Like so. There we go. Looking better. I want this one gone. Also. But yeah, this this is probably a little bit more entertaining than the previous episode. Which, I started editing it. I started doing a silly intro and whatnot. And I thought, no, I don't... I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. It's just walking around the base, you know? This is kind of the same sort of thing, but at least 
were in danger instead of just spending the entirety of the time inside the base. Um, we're only going to be able to do a couple more trees, really, because we are getting drowsy. Let's get rid of you. There we go. Now, this is danger area here. And when we get a bit further down, there is going to be like a, a dirt path. And that is going to be the part where things start really... Oh no, what am I doing? Start really getting um, intense for us, I think. Because that will be a straight shot to the parallel road from there, you see. And I don't think it's going to be massively overgrown. Oh, right. Let's just have a second. Stamina is not recovering at all. I don't like doing it out here. I don't like resting on the ground out in the middle of nowhere. No, the stamina is not recovering. I don't even know if we're going to be able to hop back over the fence at this rate. What axe was it that was using the makeshift axe? Really? I thought that thing was nearly broken. I know I put some duct tape on it, but it only repaired it minimally. We've cut how many trees and look at the condition? We haven't used another one, have we? I don't think we have. No, that's the one that we've repaired a lot. Huh. Right. Well. Uh, I want to move the tent. Because I don't want to be walking all the way up there every time. We are very, very tired. So we want to put up our tent. And we're going to bang it in the corner here. Might be a nice idea to make a secondary tent. And put it over at the other side of the base. Because sometimes walking over here just to have a sleep. Is a little bit annoying. But hey ho. There we go. And let's have a look at our water situation. Half. Yeah. About half. It's not bad. Okay, do we have any friends in the area? Doesn't look like it that way. Doesn't look like it that way. Yeah, nothing around there. I think we're okay, but it is half past two in the morning, so it's pitch black again, which is awful. I hate it. I hate it when it's so dark. I mean, the green outline thing is, is fantastic combat, honestly. If you don't play with that on, then there's something wrong with you. Honestly, <laughs> without sounding harsh with that, but it is, it's too good. It is far too good to be not using. Right, uh, can I remove bush as an option anywhere? Remove bush, there we go. So I want to start, like I say, clearing the way a bit, getting rid of anything that's going to obstruct us in any way shape or form so that includes bushes it includes trees get rid of you there we go i think most are just little shrubs up there so cut down tree which one tree radar go to about here i reckon now this is danger this is danger but i'm still going to speed up time like an idiot Okay. Ooh. Scary, scary stuff. I think the um, the siren from the ambulance has pulled everything that it's going to pull because the radius of it is pretty large. So I can't see us hitting too much issues, or at least I hope not. Okay, right, sit on the ground again. I'm probably just worrying over nothing. But I'd rather be safe, you know. Rather be safe. So let's go for a couple of these. Ooh. I shouldn't speed up time. I really shouldn't, but I'm impatient. I am very impatient. I want this done. Whoa. My speaker went weird then. Whoa, my headphones went really, really strange then. Started doing a high-pitched squeak and a crackle. I hope that hasn't come through on the recording. I can't see why it would like, but still, hey-ho. Uh, right. 
what's going on here? I don't even know. Is that... I think that's the edge of the dirt path bit there. So we've still got a little way to go. But no Zs. Which is fantastic. But also not fantastic because obviously they could drop books, they could drop uh, bags of trash, you know, all the good stuff that we could do with. And yeah, we're okay. Um, yeah, because we want to we want to start progressing the character as much as we can now because obviously we are hard of hearing, which does affect our hearing obviously, and it. It makes doing this harder because we can't hear anything coming. We don't know if there's anything in the area because of how how bad our hearing is. But then that means I have to turn up my volume, and me getting startled by the uh, the scary noise is not great. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, I understand it's. It's all part of the fun, but still. It's not good. So, even in like my OBS settings, I've had to increase the volume. Because we are lacking hearing-wise. But as soon as we actually get full hearing again, I'm going to have to change all my settings. Which is annoying, but never mind. Right, that is definitely that dirt path. So we've got this section to take out. And then we will have a shoot through to the parallel road I think and just have a little look see so take, ready, take out you take out you we've got a few here I'm going to creep up to this bit because I don't trust it yeah like I say we are okay I think most of that is... Oh, you're blighting out. No, 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 no. I knew there was something. I knew it. Am I bitten? No, I'm scratched. Oh, why? Why? This... Absolute... Bum all. Oh, please, come on. Thank you. Get booted. Come on. I'm... Oh, uh, I'm so angry with myself with that one. Again, doing stupid stuff. This is because I can't hear them. I hate it. I really do. I knew we were in zombie territory. I knew it. I knew something was going to happen like this. I just knew it. Right. Doesn't matter. It was only a scratch. We could be okay. I need to get back in because I don't have a uh, disinfectant on me and I want to disinfect it as soon as possible because you never know. A scratch can still kill you. We have survived two lacerations. This could be the thing that does us the third time, you know. It could be. It might not. You never know. It could. So I want to get back into base. Oh no, I've got to climb over two fences now, haven't I? Because I moved the first aid bag inside. No, please climb. Oh no. Right, sit on ground. Come on. Come on. Right, there we go. Let's go up and over. It's one of them, it's like, thankfully we have proper bandages opposed to just rags. I dropped the broken axe there. Drop that thing there, right. Oh, please. Please. Quickly. Thank you. Uh, what, in fact, what has that actually done to our clothing? It's probably put, yeah, five holes in the jacket. Lumberjack shirt has got a hole, so it's gone straight through that. Uh, I think the vest only had two. Oh, it's put a hole in the sweater. It's put a hole in the t-shirt. It's put a hole in the tank top. Wow, it, it's gone through everything, hasn't it? Okay, wash. We're going to wash ourselves. We're going to wash all of our clothing. Like so. So we're super clean. Super clean, clean. Then we want... Where are we? Alcohol wipes. Alcohol wipes. That's what we want. Then remove the bandage. 
There we go. Disinfect, alcohol wipes, and bandage with sterilized rag for the moment. Then we want to light a fire. So light fire, we'll just use some bark and whatever. There we go. Going to take the cooking pot off because it bugs out. And then we're going to put it back on. Then clean the bandage and fill our cup. There we go. Then we need to come back over to this, take out the bandage, take out the dirty bandage. There we go. Then clean all the bandages. And we've got a cooking pot here and we can disinfect all of our bandages like that. Is that really done all of them? Wow. Okay. So now we have sterile bandages. Wonderful. So I'm going to put out the fire. No, no, no. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, never, never mind. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. Right. Disinfect alcohol wipes again. And we're going to bandage with a sterile bandage. Go. Lovely. Then we need to have a look through our clothing pile. I do have some secondary clothing. Like, I should really wear the firefighter thing. What does that replace? It replaces the jacket, but it adds a lot more defense and things. But I want to tailor that up before I do that. So I'm going to leave that for the moment. Our jeans are okay. Our long socks are okay. Our lumberjack shirt is knackered. Uh, we've got a, a nice blue sweater we can change to. We've got a nice green t-shirt we can also change to. Then I can rip that because it is got a hole in it, it's done. So we can rip that, rip this one as well. Put the sterile rag back in there, eat some scran, take the alcohol wipes with us. And what else? What else? What else? What else do we need? Jacket. Lumberjack shirt. We don't have a lumberjack shirt. Okay, we're going to have to keep an eye out for that. And what else? Tank top. We need another tank top. Without holes. Right. Socks are good. Yep. Got plenty of socks over here. Right. Let's wash all our clothing again. Have a little drink. I think character needs to go have a sleep, honestly. Oh, I'm so disappointed with myself. I made a real mess of that, and I'm carrying matches with me, which I shouldn't be. They can go in there. There we go. That's the one. Rip sheets. Don't need those either. Get some scran in us. This will help us out. It's going to have to be one of those again, I think. I'm going to have to nurse the wound. Too busy looking at other stuff every time. I'm just, I'm so silly with it. I'm, I make the mistakes myself, you know? But look at the state of our jackets now. Look at that vest. It's just, ugh. All up the arm, all up the shoulder. The whole chest is gone. We definitely need a new jacket. As much as I love the white jacket, it's going to have to go. It really is. So let's have a sleep. We need it. And now we're going to wake up in pitch black again. Which is not good. But hey ho. I think we're going to be okay though. I really do. I think we'll be okay. Or at least I hope so. Right. <clears throat> A game time. Right. How many axes am I carrying? I'm carrying the broken... Did I not drop it over? It didn't It didn't remove it from the inventory, did it? Right, let's drop it here. Okay. You can go there. You're broken. You need repairs. Then we want to hop over our fence. Whilst struggling with a bandaged torso, understandably. Then we've got a club hammer on us. I forgot to put that in the tools. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Then we've got a saw blade axe that we can pop down. And we have our steel spear, which condition is meh. It could be manageable, but I'm going to take out the baseball bat into the main inventory. And hopefully be okay weight-wise. I think we are. Oh, hello there. Hi. 
Yeah. You got a tank top for me? Of course you haven't. Alright. Uh, put the baseball cap onto you. And I should really rip more sheets, but I don't want to. Now, he's randomly come up from all the way down there. And again, that is because the dirt path is open. So we're gonna go for a look see. And this is this is serious danger town. I have to tornado all the way around, I think. That's what I'm dubbing this now. Tornado. <laughs> so you just spin around. I'm going a random path. Uh oh that's food pop up. I thought that was fear pop up. I do that every time. Every time. Okay. Let's eat another one. Is that the zombie's corpse there? I think it is. We did check it, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, T-shirt, suit pants, some socks, some boxes. Yeah, usual sort of stuff. Okay. 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 Mm. This could be bad. It could be bad. But trying to stay on the ball with this. Hoping to get onto the road from here. Hoping to see a few less Zeds. Yeah, we can see the road from here, which is nice. Uh, we can always fall back on the fact that we can sprint. You know, we do have that in our favour. But I'm hoping for not so many big groups here. Just one or two. Pull a couple off, do a couple of kills. Etc, etc, as we do. And what the chuff is going on? The road seems very clear, but again, we have two tree lines around us. We could pull some out the tree line and get surrounded. This could be the end of the character, honestly. I'm, I'm exploring far too far on foot without a really clear way out but like i say we're just going to tornado around hopefully stay safe i'm going to have a look and see where we've got access onto the other road if anywhere yeah there is a couple of zeds in that group a few more than i was expecting honestly i thought a lot of them would have been pulled into the tree line or whatnot but i guess not I guess not. So, we have a couple coming for us, which is fair dues. Fair, fair dues. Oh, I just hope the character's going to be okay. I think she will be, honestly. She's pretty good, isn't she? Right, pause. We don't need any more small flashlights. We really don't. T-shirt holes. Jeans holes. 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 It's bound to happen. I mean, we're using spear, aren't we? We're not using long blunt. Um, okay. I may have a little look at my reference in a moment to see if there is any natural cut-ins that we can look at going to. But yeah. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Easy work of them. Which is what we like to see. So, I've got some sneakers. Not bothered about the sneakers. I will take the digital. The jacket is clearly broken. Oh, tank top. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Take that. Another leather jacket, but it has two holes. We will take that. Tank top has holes. Another digital. T-shirt has holes. Jeans have holes. Another digital, and we don't need the lighter. Yep. Okay, let's pull all that. There we go. Then let's dismantle all of the... All what? Oh, three. We got three out of that, really. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So we got a, another leather jacket and a tank top to wear. Ah, my speakers are doing that silly thing again. Why? Why do you do it? I don't know. Right. Jacket. 
Uh, it's just it's just not the same, especially when you can see through the character's waist. What is going on? Oh, I'm ethereal. The jacket has made me ethereal. Oh gosh, this is really weird. Look at that. See all the way through. Look, see, you can see through the stomach. That is strange. That is very ooh. That is very strange. Very very strange. Uh, baggy jeans holds. Tank top holds. Denim shirt three holes. Baggy jeans two holes. Tank top no holes. Right, we'll take another tank top as a spare. And where are we? That one we want to rip it up. Just one. Like so, there we go. And my speakers are doing the silly thing again. What is happening? This is not cool. This really is not cool. Oh. Right, I'm going to put the jacket, the the one we were using, in our backpack because I, I want to pay homage to it, honestly. And ooh, the hot marker scared me then i was too busy looking down here instead of at the character anyway there we go another zed too much erratic zooming i do apologize i am going to have a look at my reference now because like i say knowledge is power etc 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 so this cutting down here is it's perpendicular to the bookstore but there is trees okay so we could be an absolute maniac and cut through the woods and go for it or we could take a long walk around but again that will be like what happened at the fuel place thing there's another guy in the woods there and it is a police officer oh hello some nails randomly i'm not going to say no to nails another lumberjack shirt it's got one hole Ours has got one hole. I shouldn't... Oh, military desert boots. I think we need those. Uh, we shouldn't really be using spear against particular Zeds that we want to actually take loots from. Like, we should really be analysing what they're wearing before we strike, but never mind. Right, there we go. Pull you. Right, this person here, we want the the bulletproof off it because it looks as if it's in decent nick and is it one hole ours has two holes so yes let's wear that we will take those we will take that and that very very nice okay pause up again because the weapons weren't taken put you two in there please thank you Thank you, and you in the main inventory, there we go, and dismantle. Okay, that one is one hole, and our other one now is two holes. So we want to be wearing you, which again, I keep pressing aim, and forgetting that it interrupts it, right. So we will take the other one back. As a replacement, we might be able to fix it up or something. I don't know. So what's next? Eat some food. Put the scrap leckies in there. These rip sheets can also go in there. But yeah, all in all, not doing super duper great. And we're on 20 past 11. Okay, so we've got a cluster in that tree line. We know that. We've cleared out a few from that side. We might be able to kind of get to the bookstore. Maybe next episode. Maybe. But yeah, I think that's going to be it. Right, we've had we've had a little scare. Uh, we've got a dirty bandage which we need to deal with. So disinfect, alcohol wipes. Like so. Then we want a nice sterile bandage on there. Wonderful. And like I say, the, the best thing about the bandages is you can reuse them. I'm literally just going to leg it now. 
where where's our cutting here this is it here isn't it yeah you go up here where are we where are we here Ooh, just want to get out of there now just want to get out of there right let's keep running let's keep running so we've got some weapons, we've got some replacement clothes, we've chopped a couple of trees, and we nearly got got. I think we're safe though, honestly. I think we are. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for our, our little adventure for today. I I really did balls up. Really, really did. Not very happy at it. But like I say, it does happen. We, we need to get... A few bits together I think and go and have a look at the state of the main strip of Muldraw and see if we can go back to the fuel station see what the state of the Zeds are around there and we also need to look at changing what weaponry we are actually using because yeah there's there's other options better options for retaining clothing etc 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 right so if i just rack that then rack that as well there we go just pulling all the ammunition out of everything basically but yeah that's going to be me i'm just going to keep tinkering around the base going to do some more mechanics hopefully and maybe train some more maintenance and nimble etc with our cheese wall over there and yeah that's gonna be it so don't forget to take care of yourselves i'll see you all in the next next episode goodbye oh beef you're an absolute idiot why why did you do that why you've got to pay attention more you've got to stop being so silly and giddy and trying to get to the end before even doing the start you've risked everything everything because you didn't want to chop another tree or sit down and rest. You silly. Silly, silly beef.